Has there ever been a time when you were surrounded by snow, ice, and wintry air? No pool, ocean, or lake in sight. And certainly no need for new swimwear. What was that? We're making a bathing suit today? Well, I'm not re-recording the intro. Snow, ice, wintry air. Hello. Today, we're making a DIY bathing suit by cloning an existing bathing suit. Using your existing clothing as a template is an efficient way to speed up the designing process. And if you can be one thing, you should be efficient. I started out by placing my bathing suit on some swimwear fabric I got from Joann's. I used an iron-off pencil to trace the back and used my roller and mat to cut it out. I repeated this step for the front piece. For those of you wondering what food I use as fabric weights, it's this. My current swimsuit has a built-in bra with an elastic band, and I wanted to recreate that in my DIY version. I did the same tracing and cutting method as before to create two bra panels and cut out a piece of elastic to add support. After that, it was time to prep my workspace. Finally, I could start sewing. This is what we in the sewing world call a bird's nest. I cleared out the bird's nest and began again. How embarrassing. It turns out that my thread was the issue, so I changed my thread and tried again. Third time's the charm. I added the elastic to the front of my brassiere, then attached the front and back, and finally did some reinforcement stitches to hold it all in place. I cut out the little bra cup insert hole things from the brassiere, then began pinning all the pieces together. I struggled with this for a while before coming up with a simpler plan. Since the swimwear fabric is very slippery and slidey, I decided to baste the pieces together to make them easier to handle. The supervisor notified me that the snow was getting too deep and I had to go clear the walkway.
After that was done, I did some more basting and some more pinning. Finally, I began reinforcing the entire thing with a zigzag stitch and rolled hem. While I continue hemming, I thought I'd give you a tour of my sewing area. Here is our cold weather gear and a pile of unopened mail. Scooting on over here is my sewing slash dining area. This spot is where someone decided to create a scratching post. Then over here is my very messy sewing stash and a canvas I painted but never hung up. My cute little plants. And here's the number one life-giving mama gemma, the coffee machine. Then I got back to finish the seams. And it was time for the big reveal. My agent, supervisor, and editor weren't thrilled with the location of the next part of my photo shoot, but I was wearing a bathing suit and it was cold outside. So, bathtub it is. We're still recording. Well.